Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the man who lived many lives. That's right, the man who lived many lives. Well, what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, there once was a man who lived many lives. I should know, this man was one of my very own ancestors. When he was young, he would complain about everything. He did not like his family, he did not like how he looked, he did not like his siblings, and he did not even like to eat food. The only thing I am told this man liked was the ability to not like a thing. One day, when he was about 10 years old, an evil spirit was passing through the village, and it overheard the child complaining about his life. And so, being a crafty evil spirit, he went in to speak with him. Child, the evil spirit said, I heard you speaking, and it seems as if you do not like your life. Well, if that is the case, I can give you a different life, and all I want in return is your youth. The child thought about it, and said that indeed he wanted a new life, and he didn't mind the evil spirit taking his youth, because he did not like his youth anyway. Very well, the evil spirit said, whatever you don't like about your life will change. And then the evil spirit left. The child looked around, and nothing happened. Well, he said, I don't think I like that evil spirit. And as soon as he had finished his sentence, everything around him went black. And in an instant, when he could see again, he was in a strange land which he had never seen before. And he noticed his body had aged one year. Suddenly afraid, the child said, I do not like this strange place. Again, all went dark. And in an instant, he was in yet another strange land. And there were lions resting nearby. His body had aged again one year. The child cried out and excited the lions, who charged directly at him. The child thought how much he disliked being eaten alive, and he was instantly taken to a faraway land of ice and death. The child changed lives like this until he was a hundred years old. As he took his last breath, he thought, I do not like that. And he instantly went to another life to take his last breath again. And it was in this state that my ancestor lived his many lives, each life on the brink of death, dying each day, but being born to die again tomorrow. He lived like that until God himself came and saved him from his curse of death. So, the morning motivation of the day is the man who lived many lives. In life, we sometimes can get lost in a cycle of trying to reinvent ourselves, to find the best version of us that the world will accept. And while doing this, trying to please others, we lose ourselves in the process. We become characters and avatars, walking through life in a costume with a mask on. The real us dying, a young death, and the manufactured us dying a perpetual death with each new upgrade. But luckily for you, you have found my page. And since I know how my ancestor was saved, I know that you will be saved too. Why? Because you are awesome. You are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.